All right, you guys, it's just barely seven o'clock and we're about to leave. I'm going to miss my kitty so much. Hi, sweet kitty. Oh, I'm gonna miss you so much. Look at that. Look at what you've done to the couch. It's okay. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, sweet kitty. I'm definitely going to miss her. She's so cute. I'm so sad. I looked back and she's just sitting here waiting for me. Baby, I'm gonna miss you. All right, you guys, so here starts our trip. So we start off in the desert of California and we end up in the snowy mountains of Nevada. And here is my room. It is really nice and attached to my family's. Here we are in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Look at all of that snow, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hey everyone, so now we're in Lake Tahoe. We got here about 4 p.m. yesterday, and today we're going to Virginia City and maybe Learning Express and Smith's, and it's gonna be really fun. And then today just starts the first day of all the other days of today's trip, and it's gonna be really fun. And I'm super excited. Hopefully, we find some good squishmallows. And there is a tiny glimpse of the lake. And yes, we just got to Tahoe, but yeah, we're traveling again. Okay, you guys, we're in Carson City, and our first squish hunting stop is Smith's. Let's see if they have my dreams. Here I am, <gasps> and they at least have Loudon. Oh my gosh, my dream, yay. All right, and they have so many of these guys. They have some of the big boys, a massive thing, lots of these ones. And then they have some of these sets, of course. But surprisingly, this is the only eight inch I'm seeing, but I'm really excited, you guys. I've never been to the Smiths before. It's in Carson City, Nevada. Here are the 12 inches and the hug me's I haven't seen. Oh my gosh, this one is adorable. Lots of 12 inches. Oh my god, look how cute this one is. Oh, girly, I'm sorry. And up here, there are a few stragglers of the 8 inches. However, this is like the Zaley Bunny Squad and not Loudon Squad. So no Ronnie and no Sakina, sadly. Wow, well, I really lucked out at least finding one of my dream 8 inches. Loudon, so cute. Surprise, there's like not much left. These are so cute. I never saw these, little Avery's. I am so happy I at least found Loudon. I'm still looking for a couple others, but I am so excited with my find. And I'm coming back to take a second look. Okay, so they have tons of the mystery capsules and I only got an eight inch Ivor. I don't know if I should get any more capsules. They're way more expensive here, even on sale. Like, what the heck? Wait, they're originally $30, are you kidding me? Okay. Um, the 8 inches are originally like $16.99 and Loudon's not here because I just bought her. But like they are $9.99 at Food for Less and even with sale they're like $13 here. So Food for Less is definitely cheaper but Smith's obviously has way better selection. And the 12 inches, I never saw the 12 inches at Food for Less. I'm not sure if that Kroger affiliates even gets them. But we have a Peter holding an egg who matches Domingo, who is adorable. I love Domingo. And then we have some of the Hug Me's, which I also never saw. Lavinda, she's adorable. Like, look at her. And then this cutie. We have the special edition Sandra, who has a regular tag. So I don't know if she's technically part of Easter or not. And then we have the unicorn. Oh my god, why is this one actually adorable? And then we have this one. Oh no! Gem! I like the gem they released like last year. I wish I could get that one. I'm wondering if Food for Less even gets these squats or if it's like only a Smith's or other Kroger affiliate like exclusive or something. Surprisingly, like, bruh, they keep falling. Oh, there's this one too. Don't worry, be happy. Surprisingly, not a lot of 8 inches, but we're going to a couple other Smiths, so hopefully I can find Ronnie 
Sakina and all of them there. They have the big boys, the classic squad, and they also have this cutie again. Oh, they have a Pilar. Pretty cute. I don't know if I have an 8-inch Pilar, actually. Huh. This empty box. <laughs> and just these guys. I want her so badly, you guys, but I'm gonna wait, obviously, because why do I need a 20-inch, right? <laughs> Especially since I bought 20-inch Colin here for Valentine's Day. I still have to grab one of these boxes. Well, it wasn't as of a banner as I wanted it to be, but I did find one of my dream 8 inches. But that's all that they have, and we have to keep heading on to Reno. Guys, I can't believe I found Loudon. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. So it's our first day, well, technically second day of the trip, and I already found one of my dreams. Oh my gosh. They are so cute. And on to Virginia City. Waiting to kill someone. Oh my gosh. Let's check out my favorite rock shop. I have a couple videos on it already. Here are some of my favorite little pendants. You guys might recognize one of them. And here are some garnet. I probably should have gotten one. Garnet is my birthstone. Here's like a quick little walkthrough, you guys. I mean, look how gorgeous everything is. By now, I have so many items here, and they were actually really reasonably priced here. I mean, look at that heart. Oh my gosh. And then you guys, they even have some butterflies. This is where I got the two that hang in my room. And if you guys want to see more, check out my other videos on it. Virginia City. I love Virginia City. I already went to... Oh my god, I almost slipped. Oh my god. I already went here and the other crystal store. It's so pretty here, but it's also crazy cold. Oh my gosh. But I'm gonna check out this movie poster store. All right, I got my posters. Now we're gonna drive to Reno. Some of these icicles are like deadly. Look how huge it is. Alright you guys, I'm at Learning Express again! I'm coming back tomorrow, but we're gonna check real quick what they have today. I'm going to put up a picture for you guys so you can see what I'm looking for exactly here at Learning Express. So far it looks like they have tons of the Easter or Spring 5 inches, however they are missing 5 inch Blana and a couple others. So far I'm not seeing any of the new little hug me's like Dunky, but look at- Yes, Mothra. Definitely have to get her eventually. And some clips. Oh, they have the clips, but no milk. I think the milk's in the squad, but look at this slushy. I definitely want to get one of these. I'm going to grab one today just in case the other one is sold out because they only have two left. Here are some of the five inches. A lot of them are old squads. I'm kind of bummed at the selection, especially since last time I literally found like an insane amount of dreams. Here is everything they have overall. They moved their entire section, which was pretty cool. And I do see the hug me's right there, actually. And there's also this tiny little mini Easter section in the front as well. But sadly, it was a fail and I always mess up this door. Again, we're coming back tomorrow, and sadly, they don't have the new stacks like the Calton, and they don't have Dunky or any of the new Hug Me's, like not even a Wilfred Hug Me. Like, I thought they would have the Hug Me's at least. Now we finally made it into Reno. You guys, this must be a lucky sign. Our room is 555. Okay, you guys, so now we're in the El Dorado in Reno, Nevada, which is basically in like the same area as Circus Circus and they're connected like inside. So I'm gonna walk over there and see and hopefully they have the squad with the Lexi and Carvana and the Axolotl like they do in Vegas. So I hope so. And this is what I'm wearing today. My shirt says 1-800-DON'T-CALL-ME while my jacket. Then I have this cute little fanny pack. I think it'd be perfect for claw machine playing. And actually, if they don't have Alexi here, it's actually fine because my friend is so conveniently in Vegas right now at Circuit Circus. So if I can't find them, they're going to get me one. So I'm really excited either way, but let's get going. And hopefully I don't have to spend as much as I spent last time. All right, give me a look. No! 
Well, you guys, I had too much expectations. I knew the Circus Circus in Vegas is popping right now with new Squishmallows, but yeah, none here. Very sad. Someone left a pig here. That's so sad. Should I take it? I think I should. However, I found this cute little pig sitting all by its lonesome, so now I at least have this little cute companion. And I'm checking the squish again. I really kind of want the Sinclair 5-inch avocado toast. Maybe I'll try for it, but it's like the only one I can possibly try for. Otherwise, there's no other toast. However, there's nothing else I really want to try for, so I don't even know if I want to try. They do have this one, though. And look at Malcolm. I already have Malcolm, though. I don't need anyone. They do have this claw machine as well, but I'm not sure. I think it's kind of a fail, you guys, sadly. Ain't no way. Usually we're at the Circus Circus, but tonight we're at El Dorado, which looks pretty cool. And here is my little haul for today, besides the crystals and whatnot that I got at Virginia City. We always get some fudge from grandma's factory. I've been going here since I was like literally like a year old. Oh my gosh, you guys. So usually we get three different like bigger size ones, but today we got a sampler pack and we could choose turtle or divinity, but I love divinity. And my other favorite is maple nut. Here's information you can buy from them online and it's delicious, you guys. Well, so far only a tiny little squish hunt, but look how gorgeous the lights are outside. And next begins the weirdest day ever. So I woke up in the hospital and that's all the footage I took. And now I'm back and I'm having frozen yogurt. This yogurt place is amazing and I got so much, you guys. This is kind of my first meal of the day and it's like 1 p.m. or something. All right, well, they have nothing new in the claw machines today and I have yogurt now. So yeah, I was admitted into the hospital. Apparently I had a seizure. I will talk more on that in a bit. All right, you guys, so I'm back in the hotel. I'm fine. I'll talk about it in a little bit, um, like later on, but I'm really upset because today we were supposed to go squish hunting in Reno. We were supposed to go back to Lion Express, Five Below, Marshalls. We were going to go to Burlington and the Home Goods and TJ Maxx like duo store. And then we're going to go to Hallmark and Smith's, like a couple Smith's, so pretty upset about that. But oh well, you guys, hopefully I didn't miss anything, and hopefully that means they'll stock at Learning Express by the time I get there. So give me some luck, you guys, and I'm going to check later tonight if they stocked the claw machines. The one great thing is when I woke up in the hospital bed, I saw a Snapchat from my friend, and they did win me an Alexi Squishmallow today from their claw machines in Circus Circus in Vegas since these two circus circuits are actually owned by different people so they get different squish sadly um they also had sonic squishmallows there like ah anyways i'm really excited about that so at least i got that i know it seems like i'm too nonchalant about what happened but i seriously have no memory of it so that's why i'm so normal right now and hopefully this fortune comes true i love this entrance it's so pretty Shockingly, it's not actually refilled. Usually they refill them, I notice almost every night, but surprisingly, it's not. So I'm pretty bummed. And Sinclair is gone, so I can't even try for him. But oh my god! Literally, this was not here last night. It was totally filled with like Sonic plush, but not even the squish ones. Excuse me, why? Three dollars to play. That's crazy, you guys. Especially because I can try to win this guy at Walmart claw machines as well. There's no Connor like available to try to get though. I'm so sad. I really want Tano's Connor. It almost looks like the Eiffel Tower, but it's not. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. It's really cool though. This time it's just not worth it for me to try any of the claw machines. I really don't want any of those except for the 5 inch Sinclair, which is now not available and gone, and the 5 inch machine, and I want the Tandos Connor, who's now also not available. So. 
but I'm going to Harvey's where I went in the last claw machine video and hopefully they will have more marshmallows for me to try to win. Well, back to our hotel and look at all these delicious desserts and everything they have at this like coffee shop. Look at this key lime dome. Very interesting, very appealing. That's pretty bad luck, but maybe not. Pistachio. So I went back down and I grabbed myself some cake. Look how delicious. And it really was, it was so good. All right, you guys, so I made it home, as you can see, and I'm going to talk really quick about what happened. So I apparently had a seizure around 9 in the morning, and I went to sleep around 1 a.m. or something. Apparently, I had a one-off seizure, which can happen sometimes, and it could totally be random, and you might have one, and that's it. So hopefully that's it. I had a clean bill of health and was released. There was a 72 hour waiting limit where I couldn't drink alcohol or drive or anything. And if I didn't have any more seizures, it was most likely a one-off seizure. Now I'm not entirely sure what happened. I do not remember anything. And I will be trying to see a doctor to see hopefully, you know, everything's okay. So that's all I know. And thank you guys so much for being concerned. And I love you guys. Well, you guys, I figured I'd do a little bit of a crystal haul for what I found at the crystal store. So first, I got this really pretty flaky, I have no idea what it's called, but flaky rock. Then I got this. I got this cute little tumble, and there's Kitty. And I got this bracelet. I always get a bracelet there every time. Look how pretty. And then I got this lab-generated crystal. Very cool. I think it's like bismuth or something. As you guys saw, I picked out another one of these heart pendant necklaces. They are so pretty. I love this color combination. And then I grabbed a necklace also for my friend for their birthday coming up soon. I think they'll really love it. And that's all we got. A quick little haul, but there's my cute kitty. All right, you guys, time for the haul. And the kitty's right here. I am super excited to talk about Loudon. They are so adorable and I was so shocked that I was able to find them, especially because this was literally the last 8 inch of this entire squad. Like, I'm pretty sure it was. Oh my gosh. And it's one of the ones I wanted. Yes. I'm so excited. They are so adorable. I love their colors. I love the goats in general. And I didn't have like original Loudon, which I think is like a Canada exclusive or something. So I'm super excited that I was able to find Loudon in the wild and I didn't have to buy them online. So cute. Loudon is one of my last Easter squish I'm still diesel for right now. So I'm really excited I was able to find one of the ones I really was set out looking for. And oh my gosh, like super quickly too, the first Smiths I went to and I found them. So hopefully that means the other Smiths I go to will be just as lucky. But I am so excited, you guys. They are adorable. Let's just hop right into their bio. Their tag color almost matches them perfectly. I end up misgendering the squish so much. I thought Loudon was a girl, but it's actually, he's actually a guy. So I figured it was probably a guy, but I don't know. I just like was strongly influenced that it was a girl, that Loudon was a girl, but not like it really matters. But look how cute they are, you guys. They are so adorable and the colors are perfect. I love the goats. I love their little beards. This little Loudon could have a little bit of a better beard. He has like not much hair at all as you can see but it's okay he is still perfect again i cannot believe i found him as you guys saw there wasn't much left at all really worth talking about so the fact that loudon was there i keep saying this but literally immense luck you guys that is so crazy and that was before i got the 555 room number so that is loudon the eight inch easter kroger affiliate purple coat super cute i love him so much he's so cute Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I was able to get him. Also, I'm not sure if it was true, but I'm pretty sure these guys are more expensive at other affiliates than Food for Less. For Food for Less, the 8 inches, like, I paid $9.99 for Zaley, if you guys remember that video, which was posted very shortly before this one. And, um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I paid, like, at least 11 something even with my, uh, Kroger card, so, for this one. Don't know why the prices are different, but anyways, I'm so excited I found them, and that is my haul for today's video. Just one little squish, but I'm super excited with them. Oh my gosh! Well, you guys, we're home, and yes, everything was crazy, and this is just the first part of this whole trip, and yeah, what a way to start. I mean, 
I could talk about the squish I found or I could talk about the seizure that I had. Again, I don't remember any of it and I literally remember going to bed and then waking up in the ambulance and then waking up in the hospital about when I took a couple of those clips that you guys saw. So pretty crazy. Um, even though I was obviously upset about missing, like being able to squish on or whatever, um, I was able to, as you guys will see in the next part. And obviously like I was mad, but I shouldn't have been like, good thing I was okay from the seizure, but I was like, oh, I missed the squishmallows. But anyways, um, sadly nothing at Circus Circus, so bummer for that, but my friend did get me a Lexi from Circus Circus in Vegas, so that will be a video coming soon. We have a lot of squish we have to trade. It's going to be a huge video, but I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of my Reno slash Lake Tahoe or just Nevada squish hunt vacation vlog, whatever it is. And yeah, pretty crazy start. Um, our hotel room was 555, but it was lucky for Loudon, even though it was afterwards. But then it was obviously not lucky for the seizure part. But you guys will see, it'll be lucky later on. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for caring about me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.